What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Nerd soul. Late ill kid at one young so holding it down, bring that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people? Today, all oh, yeah, coming with another wonderful episode of On Screen. We got hip hop geek putting it together for some nerd soul goodness, and we got a couple things to get out of the way before we get started. Big shout out to our Patreon supporters, Enrique Carrion. Big shout out to you, Phenomic is an awesome web comic. Need to check it out. Also, Tim I for helping build nerd soul. Thank you, thank you. Also, Thought Crimes, Prince and Sin, awesome content here on YouTube, on podcasts, all that stuff. They are amazing. And on to our people that helping us out on GoFundMe.com slash Violator20. Big shout out to Nace. Big shout out to Chris. Big shout out to Alexis Torres. I'll go see all of you guys donating, giving us the funds to be able to document some hip hop legendary goodness at the 20th celebration of the Violator album. Thank you so much. If you want to put a dollar in the bucket, hit that link below, gofundme.com slash Violator20. Now, that's all out the way. You and I, we got we to gotta take it down, down south. That's right. Deep down in the jungle of Mirai. Well, the swamps of Mirai. But yeah, you know, we're talking about Swamp Thing. And Tons of awesomeness happened on this episode, but I want to talk about four main things. Let's get started. Um, number one, Avery is a sleazeball. Absolute sleazeball. There is, this dude is just slimy. Like seriously, this dude is just sleazy, slimy. I mean, we already don't like the guy. Guy killed a dude and he's manipulating everybody. We already know that. It's super bad. Don't nobody like him. But just the, the sheer fact that he's on his phone, you know what I'm saying? Talking to his wife like, oh yeah, girl, thank you so much for, you know, helping out with the money. You know, thank you. I love you, girl. I, it just, it's only me and you, girl. Laid up with the sheriff. Really? Really? So you in bed with the sheriff and then talk, she's in the very next room. Like, have some, uh, uh, this is going to sound weird, but at least have some decency, yo. Don't, if you go and cheat, don't be on the phone in the same room, dang near the same room with the girl. While, like, he is just slimy. Like, that whole situation was just straight dirt ball. And honestly... He and the sheriff kind of deserve whatever they get, but we see in this episode that they are kind of, kind of a dirty pair because not only did he take care of the banker, but we find out that Matt might not be as clean as we thought. And we find out that since he's not as clean as he thought, the sheriff will do whatever it takes to protect her son, AKA cold blooded murder. Yo, I, Wow. Next, I want to get into the the first statement, the first calling out, the first labeling of the green. Um, the first time that Swamp Thing sort of, or Alex sort of kind of encounters something a little more direct with actually telling him what's going on, telling him how things are. Um, instead of him sort of experiencing things, he's been sort of now shown almost explicitly like this is what's going on this is a piece of what's going on with you and we see him reconciling with it and learning and i i just like the way they handle it they handled this exposition they handled this learning in a way that wasn't boring in a way that was I, I don't know if i'd say interactive but a way where we were tuned in we were interested in learning what he learned uh because it's so it's so cryptic it's so historic um, it's so deeply embedded in that town and in the plant life around it. And them starting to share their, I don't know, collective conscious maybe, but it's very cool to see how they first, you know, remarked on the green and how the green is like, yo, man, we might be showing you scary stuff, but we're here. We talk, we got to be here. All right? You swamp thing, we the green, we got to, we got to be here. Cause we gotta be on the same page. You gotta know what we know and you gotta know how to speak to us and blah, blah, blah. So 
you know, you're our champion. We need you. So I really liked the visions. I really liked the conversation that he had and just realizing that what he's become is not maybe a curse, maybe a burden, but not potentially a bad one. Now, before we hit the break, I did want to remark it was cool to see Daniel. Yo, we got to see the Blue Devil suit. We also got to see that, uh, yeah, he can't leave Mirage just yet. He, he went up to the, to the edge. He was like, ah, I got burned up real quick. Can't, hey, sadly, he will be there just a little bit longer. But it's good for us because we have another hero to be able to help where who knows? Who knows what's coming, but Madam Xanadu does not seem pleased or happy. She seems pretty scared, and I'm sure that she's a lady that has seen quite a few things. So with that said, I'm glad that we got Blue Devil here to maybe, just maybe, fill in and help out if need be. Now, with that said, we got the first two out of the way. Eh, got a little extra plus out of the way. And we're gonna get to some more, but first, Cure Brand gotta help us pay them bills. Oh, yeah, take the link below, hat, shirts, hoodies. All that jazz, and once you find something you like, of course, cop it. Now, let's get into the crap. Whoo. Don't you ever come to my daddy house, my daddy place of business, my daddy's domain, all right? And be trying to put your foot down, be trying to intimidate nobody. All right, this is my family. All right, you watch your back. I like, I like Liz, yo. I like Liz. Liz is not backing down at all. Liz is not playing. And Avery, Liz, like she said, I got to be getting close because you here. You know what I'm saying? You here. So that means that I must be asking the right questions about something. And I don't know what it is, but I'm going to get you. And, you know, him up there cutting up the turtle. All I can think is about Leo and Raph and stuff. But he cutting up the turtle, trying to talk, trying to talk crap to Delroy. And then Liz came in like, oh, no, 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 don't worry about this. I got this. We here. You, I ain't scared of you. I, I ain't worried about you. So I like how she's, she, she like, look, I'm going to get mine. All right. I'm going to find this story and I'm going to take you down. Even though, I mean, or even when he sent his little henchmen and who, those henchmen must have been like the dollar store henchmen. But anyway, they came up. First, you ain't supposed to be using each other's names. I think they called each other. One of them called the other one's name or whatever. But they came in. She was like, cut, 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 cut. Yo, first, Liz not only is a hard-hitting reporter. She don't take no crap. She ain't being, uh, she's not going to be intimidated. And you try to take her down. She like, yo, now I guess I got to, I got to smash you up. With the cross, my God, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, I gotta, I gotta cut up, you know what I'm saying? I gotta hit you with a sin cool, you know what I'm saying? You never know what she gonna come with. You might get hit with a Hadouk and keep on playing. But I do like that with this, we see Daniel, he's, he's ready to jump in action. Like, you didn't see him hesitate. You saw, he saw her in danger, was like, hey, leave her alone, kind of thing. So I love that. I love the fact that he was able to get in there and just get started protecting her um, or at least trying to help out because, I mean, she was outnumbered and they messed up her car, man. Do you know how much tires cost? Tires ain't cheap. Not once in my life have I bought four tires at a time. It was, man, it almost broke me to buy two. But slide, slide down the way. Don't, don't worry about, you know, sometimes finances be up, sometimes they be down. But the bottom line is this, Shauna, what I tell you, what I tell you last time, what did I tell you? I told you Shauna won't go like that. <laughs> Don't you be bringing no girl up in my house, up in my bed. Now I'm going to have to possess her. And seeing that possession dig up the old emotions and, and the, the kind of like experiences from Maria also 
to dig up those old emotions and experiences in Abby. Uh, it showed Alec another side of her, another side of her past, and it also helped Abby come to grips with what really happened. Her to be able to remember, to actually remember the whole situation and to sort of lay her to rest, maybe for now. I'm not sure that Shauna is gone, gone, but you know, not only did she play with Susie's mind, body, soul, all that, but then also played with Maria and almost, you know, you see that misery loves company. She wanted to kill her and to kill Abby. Um, of course, mom to kind of like bring her with her or whatever, but it was creepy. It was creepy in a very good way. And I don't know if we're going to have to deal with this more, but I like the fact that it forced them to deal with it. It forced them to get it out. We didn't, it won't no more tiptoeing around this. You had to deal with how Shauna felt about Abby, how, Mar how Maria felt about Abby, how she felt about both of them, what really actually happened. And I guess you could say in the long run, it couldn't have happened without Abby pushing her in. But you never, you know, kids do dumb stuff like that. And when you're a kid, you do dumb things and you don't really think further than, you know, further than your nose, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm sure if she could take it back, she would, but she's right. Pushing her down there is not what took her. Something down there grabbed her and held on to her and kept her. And whatever's down there is probably still down there. And I'm sure that Swamp Thing is gonna have to deal with it. So guys, holla at me, I'm gonna holla at you. Down in the comments, let's talk about Shauna, Maria, Matt and his semi-dirty self now. We don't know what happened. Of course, Sheriff, we got Avery Sleazy self, we got Abby, we got Dr. Woodrow doing all kinds of dirt. You know what I'm saying? Dude breaking up in places. He ain't supposed to be in that house. That's Alex's house. I Don't get me started, because that dude should not, not be trusted. But guys, before I bounce, I'm gonna tell you to hit up thatnursehole.com. That's right, check me out right there. All my videos from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all that. Then hit up shop.thatnursehole.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. Don't forget to get one for them playettes. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nurse hole. That's right, there's no better way that I can show people that you like what you are watching. So, LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart, and please, be good to yourselves. Please be good to each other. And remember, please remember, whenever you're going out to your car at night and you're a reporter, watch your back. Peace.